Hi, I'm Johanna Bonds with the Central Regional Tourism District, where every town has a story. Today, we're in Wethersfield, Connecticut at the Webb Dean Stevens Museum. Come check out a piece of Connecticut's history. Let's hear their story. I'm Cindy Riccio, acting co-director of the Webb Dean Stevens Museum in Wethersfield, which incidentally is the largest historic district in Connecticut. We reopened on June 24th after an extended closure due to COVID-19. Some things that visitors can expect when they come. Masks are required for both staff and visitors. We have hand sanitizer in our three historic houses and we have established a new traffic flow pattern that will allow for proper social distancing. We are open right now on a limited basis. We are open Wednesday through Saturday and tour times are 10 a.m., 12 noon and 2 p.m. And on Sundays, tour times are at 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. in groups of four or less. We are thrilled to be open again and share with the world that George Washington stayed here for five days in May of 1781, where he met with French General Rochambeau to plan what eventually was the final march ending the Revolutionary War. People are really excited when they hear that George Washington stayed here and are often astonished that Connecticut played such an important role in the American Revolution. Our new Education and Visitor Center is slated to open later this year, where we will be able to offer programming year-round for both the public, for school children, and for private group tours. We will also have new exhibition and public event spaces, including spaces for weddings. All of this will boost the Webb Dean Stevens Museum already considerable economic impact in Connecticut and will also boost Connecticut heritage tourism. As state guidelines ease, we will be offering more tour times in addition to more public programs, especially as we get into the fall. Please be sure to visit our website and also follow us on Facebook and Instagram.